Peter Bogdanovich is in a dark editing room. He's cutting the trailer to a movie. A Hollywood overproduction. Cut it. He's interrupting the trailer. They were gifted. They were passionate. They were cousins. With more than just Cut one it. secret. Go straight to the stars. Peter, I, I may be saying too much. Cut out more of the plot and add in two more actors. That's what people want to know. Peter, I know your decisions are always right, but... Just push the buttons, will you? I want to get this work done. Yes, Mr. McDonough. Lorraine Wigseller. Dylan Sheen. Sonia Braga. Bob Noah. Robert Vaughn. Terry Lynn Lisbeth Bastron Flavio. Her and her five Scott goddamn names. Baldwin. Five seconds of screen time. Chandra Chang. It's actually quite brilliant. Lassie Lang. Rick Forte. Screen legend Victoria Tatler. Van Weasel. Lemon Eight. Saul Neiman. Bob Balaban. Corbin Calloway. And Casey Van Han. I know we're cousins. But I'm in love with you. Attention deficit. Well, it's definitely not been done. Something, I guess. Seems like your first pitch. Go ahead. Try not to be too nervous. Okay, so you want me to just go right into it? <clears throat> just a second. No, please. Hello. Hi, hon. Well, I'm in the middle of something right now. It's, I believe it's going to end soon, though. How about I call you... Uh, I'll call you back at five. Okay. Love you. Karen, I thought I asked you to hold all calls, please. Shut up. Okay. Okay. The story is called Bipolar. All right. Alrighty, so picture uh, uh, two doctors. They're reconstructive surgeons. Okay. Her name is Francis, and his name is Riley. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, alrighty. All right. Okay, Francis is, like, in love with Riley. And they're cousins. And so it's... Not cool. They grew up together. They're like really altruistic and they'll go to like uh, Mexico, Canada, places where like, and like hospitals you won't know, take these the patients kids and, with, you know, serious, serious uglies, cleft palate and, and birth um, defects. Riley wants to change the world. You see, he's uh, like, I mean, he's a good guy, but bug. there's something under there, a Superman thing going and on. And she do something that's going to make a difference. Follows him into medical school. I didn't even want to go to medical school. Why did you? want to be a doctor. 
And uh, is, it, is it a little hot in here? She can just, you know, put a face back together. He she's is amazing. really good, but he's not as good as she is. No, she doesn't rub it in his face because she loves him. Okay? So. But it's so wrong. Whatever. So sort of the black sheep of the hospital. They're like an insurance Even risk. though they're like totally brilliant. Looks like her days are numbered. That's because they care about money and we care about medicine. We still have to face reality. What are we going to do? Okay, well, let me just back up. Hang on. Well, suffice it to say that their spouses end up fucking because they are totally, you know, pissed off at what these two share. He's, you know, conflicted. He knows. He's got this dissonance. And he, uh, is this making sense? The idea is to do these in about three minutes maximum. Did I'm sorry. I'm just sort of that? like, there's so much to, to put into one little package. So. On this one particular trip, Manitoba, whatever, Winnetoba, I don't know, like uh, bumfuck, Canada. they work exhaustively for, you know, fixing like all these, you know, unfortunates. Uh, just cut off, miles from it. And so they're doing their, their uh, bike on like uh, something. The semi rounds the corner on this road, you know, completely obliterates Riley. <laughs> Liquefies him, knocks him into this gully. <laughs> Freaking it wasn't even time to drive him to a, you know, a hospital. Uh, what a you know. moose hospital up there. I mean, there's nothing. She should let him go because it's really not good. She collects what's left of him, like in a blanket or something. You know, adrenaline abundance. Granted, a lot of their supplies were used helping all Just the Canadians. Just goes to work, baby. Just goes. And he, a couple of times, can be heard begging her, let me go, whatever, you know, let me go. Using spatulas and you know, sewing spoons. this onto that. You know, where do the parts go? Who knows? You know, she's making a Frankenstein. Modern day Frankenstein. And somehow he actually looks a little more rugged. A little hotter after the damage. Now she selfishly, using every skill, you know, given to her by God and against God's better judgment, you know, saves his life. You never get it quite right, do you? And that's when they realize that he has changed. This evil, thing she's created, you know, selfish, hedonistic, money grubbing, sewing up all these, you know, New York socialites, making them, you know, making tight faces. <clears throat> she has to decide what to do. How does she fix her mistake? And then, what I w would like to present is that it be the first movie that has, that, that is projected live. The last scene, because it's all going out live, the last scene is performed live. Well. That's an interesting concept. Anything else? Just try to picture it. You know, I think it would be a great PR thing. You know, it would be fun. You know, it's a good, it's a good hook. This would Ooh. be like, you know, a reason. Even if the movie sucks, it would be a reason why everyone's there. This, you know, live event. I mean, holy shit. Right? Okay. I'm sure you'll hear from us soon. So if you'll just take a look there for Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, I think we have a 3 and a 3.30. I, I, I can't do this anymore. You've got to give me an hour. I can't, I can't do that. No. I have a... Yeah, sorry, I can't do it. Mr. Crouch. Listen, you know as well as I that nothing went wrong. Excuse me. Bing, yes. turn on the tape recorder right away. Anything you say can and will be used in a court of law. This is ridiculous. I've never sculpted such perfect tits. It's some of my best work. I, were you running? Yeah, I'm running. No, no, I don't think you were no. running when she said that. No. Can you say it again? You know what? This is ridiculous. Can we start over again? Can no, you back we up can't. Just a little bit? I use my own breasts as the model. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> well, we'll be subpoenaing those breasts. They're going to be part of my rebuttal argument, and I'm going to see you in court. And that's it. Let, hey. Yes, you will see me in court. That's very expensive. I don't want that on the floor. It's not on the floor. We're leaving. Come, come. You know this is all a lie. Thank you. <laughs> hey, come on. Can you believe this? It's just not right. What am I going to do?
So Billy and his permanently angry friend Heidi are in rehab. Crosstalk, please. Heidi. Excuse me? No, crosstalk. Let Pete finish. Crosstalk. What, what's crosstalk? Crosstalk. Simple. What is Heidi. she, the secretary? A little extension of yourself? Well, you're talking you're supposed about? to control this, not let Heidi. her, like, control what, is the clock ticking or something? Heidi, you get your 20 minutes. Like, like my 15 you're, minutes of fame or you're, something? You're yeah, next. that's it. It's up. Heather, Fuck it, you go. Get back there right now. That was so... Fantastic. I mean, you. I don't know. I just, the way you just lost it. I wish I could do that. It's not hard to do. You know? It is hard to do. I'm fucking dried out. The only thing I can get my hands on is a cigarette. No, but. minutes. Uh, next session. No smoking. All right. It's really, I think it's beautiful. Tonight on Hollywood Today. Casey Van Hatton seeks spiritual renewal at a private Buddhist sanctuary after a grueling shoot on her. Van, turn it off. Attention deficit. Do something. Girl, you are it, America's true sweetheart. Oh, stop. But you know what? It's really given me an opportunity to find ways to give back all the love that I've gotten from everyone. Thank you. If I hear one more celebrity giving back till it hurts, so tell us about your new film, Case. Well, I can say, it's like nothing ever done before. She is, huh? Yeah. She's also talent-free. Did you come off your $15 million a movie fee? No, I'm sorry, that's not fair. <laughs> Tisha, you're so bad. I'm getting like, uh, what is it, you know, jaded, bitter. When John LaRock told me what he had in mind. <sighs> bitter. And who was directing, well, I just couldn't believe it. Um, don't you usually take trips before the premiere, like a sort of ritual? Do I have that right? A sort of spiritual retreat. It's so exhausting after all the work. Please spare usually me. Usually right after spare we Spare me. That's when I need that time. It's kind of Casey time, you know? I understand. No calls, no reporters, so nobody can contact you. Just my manager, Phoebe. Let's take a look at the clip from the movie. I know we're cousins, but I'm in love with you. I'm a doctor, goddammit, not a beautician. She can't act her way out of a hefty. I went to medical school to be near you. Wait a minute, doctors not to and with you. did she say cousins? Do you think that it's easy for me to be better than you? Smarter? <laughs> I just am. <laughs> You go fix the faces on those rich old bags. I have lives to change. Don't you get it? I'm in love with you. No! Casey, terrific. Thank you. No, 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 no. The movie is no. sort of a new age Frankenstein. That son of a bitch so Lorax stole special. my movie. And there's something special about the premiere, right? Holy it's shit. It's simulcast, digitally projected. Ben, Ben, The last ben. most shocking scene will be done live. Ah! This can't I just be happening. Believe it when I this heard it. A feature in theaters that ends with a live scene. How innovative and exciting. Oh my god! You know what? John is a genius. Did you see That's it? That's why he's Did you the man, see you know? that? He stole my movie! God damn it! Oh shit. Jesus Christ! Twenty-seven movies. And this, this is where he is. This is a disaster. He has one expression, blank. I'm, who am I, Riley? <laughs> Do we shake hands or no? Hi. Hi. I don't know, this is terrible. 72 takes and this is what I get. I've worked with the best. I've worked with Sophia. I'm Riley. And this is what I've come to. What's your name? Tori. Tori, you're beautiful, but your face, I could, I know I could make you like a supermodel. Oh. What a nightmare. I could make you perfect, absolutely perfect. You know, LaRock, he gives me the $12 million Barbie doll and the $12 million underwear model and expects me like to canvas. make something work. Where did they find him in his underwear? International mail? They should have left him there. Okay, so how does the 50s singer Carolyn become Billy's guardian angel?
Oh, Carolyn, it wasn't your fault after all, was it? But you have to live with it. So we'll see you later when you take Billy to lunch. I don't know, it's like gives me a headache. I thought it was Xanax. It was like a year ago. I was, I was, there was well butrin. I can't even keep up with you. I mean, you're so wired. I was, well, this, but this, I can't, the light comes in and I just get this. Well, who, you're like a chemist. You're a doctor. I can't keep up with you anymore, Bill. Way over my head. You're like an anchor. What Trying is happening? to find my zone Billy, here. Billy, oh. Billy, they're oh. making Billy. attention deficit from my story. I can't believe it. And I'm saying, you know, you know, please wait to be seated. I'll be right back. Maybe I just need a movie deal. And I'm just being a drama queen. Is that it? I'm gonna fucking punch you if you say it. I didn't say it was, man. Can we add him another tea with some butanol? Is that what it's called? Butanol. He's actually very clever. He decided to back Christopher Walken's own project, and uh, I think that made the difference, you know? Yeah. It's like yeah. these days you have to have a celebrity in your film to get anywhere. <laughs> so nasty. It obviously made a difference. Yeah. You gotta have a star. Where are you going? Where are you going? Can you look, the, uh, look to the camera for me, Casey? Uh, this is for all the viewers in England. Do you think it's going to be a success? Hey, guys, we're almost done. We're about Take ready to wrap this up. Make sure you get a Thank you. Of the the Thank you. I helped to design Casey. it. Casey, we had a movie, not your yeah, fucking Casey, can't tell us okay? about the movie at all, please. Yes, the name of the movie all. is Attention sure Deficit, guys. Come on. Beautiful. She looks 50. Piece of work, isn't it? What are you talking about? You did that on purpose? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think even I can correct that. No, no one can. When I did it, I made sure, absolutely for sure, he stuck with it. What about her? That's an unfortunate situation. Innocent bystander. You're a doctor. You don't play God. He was suing you for some of your best work. That's not the point. That is the whole point. Shh, keep it down, and for God's sake, people are gonna hear you. Your thinking is warped. What's warped about it? Everything. Welcome to the Chuck Wagon Grill. Hippie high, hippie ho. Smoking or no? Don't they know it's the Magnificent Seven? Not the Fabulous Seven? Oh. I have got it. I got it. Is this another breakthrough idea? Why am I why am I feeling anxious all of a sudden? Yeah, this is a breakthrough. Well, holy shit. Is that it? Three years in the making. You're wildly amusing. Indifference! Thank you very much. It's a little thin. I was expecting Grey's Anatomy or something. This is not my baby, indifference. This is Venezuela. Fantastic piece of work by John Rock. During his college days, I found it on the internet. So wait, it's good or it sucks? Uh, sucks. 
This thing is so unbelievably fabulous. It's so fabulously, heinously horrible. Let me tell you, you cannot buy talent. And it deserves to see the light of day. He did it for me. He took bipolar, I mean attention deficit. Kindly brought that to the screen for me. What I realized last night was that I have nothing to lose. I'm worried about you. I'm worried that about you. What talking about here is the fact that I don't give a fuck. The fact of the matter is that I can take an action. Really? Gonna get fired. Why don't you just sue the guy and get it out of your system? Get it out of my system? Oh my god. Vince, I can't buy a pair of shoes. How am I supposed to take on the biggest producer in Hollywood? Yes, he stole from me. That's not the point. I'm protected by this great thing called copyright. It's actually copy rape. My question is, are you willing to take risks? I take risks. What bad? Fashion risks? Hello? It's time to really be cowboys. Okay, on the 20th, he thinks he's gonna broadcast attention deficit to a worldwide theater audience live. We're gonna shoot Venezuela ourselves, okay? We're gonna burst into Viacast. Where he's planning to broadcast attention deficit from. Take we're gonna it take by it force. by force. And we're gonna okay. replace his tape with our tape. We're gonna play Venezuela and bingo! International humiliation from Mr. Big himself, John Rock. And since you've gotta have a star these days, just wait until you hear who's gonna star with you, Ben. You're going over the edge. You will rise above this drivel, and you will be actor of the year. I can't live with myself this way. This way. I can't. What's so brilliant about this idea is that he will protect us. Yeah, you, you just... No. He just don't want people to see who I am. He just want people to see what he did. Thanks a lot. Thanks. You say her husband uh, doesn't seem to like the work I did for your daughter. She is Jonathan's, so actually she is my step. Okay? Okay. I have information I think you should know. Leave me the hell alone. I know some things, heard some things. Bing, Bing, come here. Turn the, turn the machine on. Who the hell is he? This is my nephew. Hey. Speak freely. Look. He did it on purpose. What? What? Actually, you know her lips, it doesn't look so good, does it? It's the look everyone's going for today. The doctor that you're suing? He's yes. her cousin. And you're telling me that he messed up Tori on purpose? Are you kidding? Shit, look at those lips. They're very big lips. She has trouble drinking. She can't kiss. Isn't he also suing a hospital malpractice or something? They're so beautiful. He forced me to do th We shouldn't talk about that, right? Probably not. Should we? Probably not. She can suck, but she can't kiss. You are a bottom dweller. Yes. A scum, sucking ambulance chaser. That's true. But no, nobody's kid deserves to be geeked. No, God bless you. Pointed, pointed at him. This okay, thing's broken. You have, you gotta carry that. Bing, bing. bing. This, that's not, can you, don't watch. That's right, you, you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Forget about it, you don't know nothing. That's good, Ben, thanks. There's more. <laughs> nice script. Who talks like that? Haven't we had enough of these stereotypes? Look, you're a fine actor, Ben. It's just don't worry about it. Just give us the lines. 
He'll say anything. Ben, there was a time you'd never talk to a director like this. I've read you, what, a hundred times now? A hundred and twenty times? Mm -hmm. Ben, I don't know. I think you're losing your edge. Who got the fucking thing? Because I'll never be good enough. I'll never be good enough for you. I'm still considering. I thought I got the part. You, you got the thing? 5'10", Italian-American. See, the thing is, I'm Italian-American, huh, JT? What do you think? There must be other shit going on in your life, and I'm just gonna pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> this is bullshit. I have to work late tonight. Bullshit. Why can't you be honest about this? You've never trusted me. Yeah. Fuck you. We work together. We're cousins, for God's sake. I mean, what am I supposed to do? You know, you're saving the world, sewing up patients. Well, I'm on call. Sewing up your scrubs. How did these get ripped anyway? I know you're on call. I mean, well, don't worry about it, because, you know, I'm just the local washerwoman. Whatever. Whatever? What does that mean? I mean, what does whatever mean? You know, what does that really mean? It's always about her. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I, I Fiona, Ben's hopelessly codependent girlfriend, comforts him as he makes yeah. a phone call to Billy hey. to repent. Yeah. No, look, the reason why I'm calling is because I've been thinking about your plan, what you said the other day. And you can count me in. No, my audition went very well, thank you. <laughs> very, very well. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just... I want to be there for you. Whatever. If I get a chance to act, I'll get plenty of chances to act. I'm not worried about that. I just... uh, this is okay. just, so what are you getting I'm out of it? I'm just pumped, man. I'm pumped. This You're is not pumped. You're not great. well. It's sick that you want to do uh, this. It's fucking weird if you ask me. It's like you, you got nothing better to do. You'd rather not sit home and take medication, so... Would you uh, not fucking kidnap what, a famous movie actress? Put a gag on it for a second. What's okay. the worst that I, could I, happen? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The worst let let me paint a little picture for oh you. Oh my god! Do you know what prison's like? It's I've hard. heard stories. I think you're being a large little black dramatic, men cornering okay? you in a cell. Well, you are scrumptious. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! And that Billy. baby doll girlfriend of yours. Good God! Oh my God! Look! 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 look. I can't there. believe it. Exactly. On time? What if it changes? What if her schedule changes? Dr. Britton. Dr. Britton. Oh, Mr. Crowley. Your son has destroyed my family. Yes, I, I can assure you that the results on your wife's breast are, and, and your daughter's face, they're entirely within an acceptable medical range. Bing. 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 They're coming. Bing! Coming, coming, Come on, coming, where are you? Get the hold, machine, hold quickly. Please keep your voice down here. All right, I'll be very quiet. All right. Get the machine. We're recording right what now. What is that? Careful. Sorry. Turn it on. Now, your son has turned my daughter into an inflatable X-rated doll. Excellent. Oh, please, Mr. Crouch, let's not exaggerate, all right? Well, I know. Let's just call her LaToya. I think that Jackson girl looks terrific, That's you? Janet. Your son was seeking revenge on my daughter, and he lured her into the operating room. She was 18 years old. Yeah, she's an adult. She's capable of making her own decisions. You know, you've already sued this hospital, Mr. Crouch, for uh, the most impressive breast augmentation procedure I've ever seen, and for your daughter. Please take that away. I'm you keep, gonna, I'm you, you, you keep that thing going. Take you that keep thing that thing going. Keep my, it going. My, my hospital, my place, take you that thing out of there. Keep it going. No, you don't. Keep it going. Turn it off. Keep it going. Uh, if your assistant doesn't take that thing out keep of there, keep recording. I, we're not, I'm not her lips, her lips, oh my God, I mean, she might as well. You, see, you might as well give her whiskers. You didn't ask for this. Dr. Braden. Yes. It's simply revenge. Your son is wreaking Mr. revenge Crouch, on my Keep daughter. Your voice down. This is a medical hospital. It's revenge. It's simply revenge. He was simply seeking my... Francis.
Francis, I've known you your entire life. Why can't you talk to me? Riley has never geeked anyone before. I just don't understand that, that crouch girl. I've never seen a teenage face do that. Riley hasn't been himself lately. Riley has been a little off. Now, oh, Francis, it's more than that. He was a role model. He was a doctor's doctor, one of the good guys. He was destroyed. You can't know what, what had to be done. Now, wait a minute. I thought that the injuries were strictly cosmetic, except for some internal bruising. What are you saying? Uncle G, he was gone. I started from scratch. Go ahead, do your own MRI. I've done them all myself so far. Why? So that nobody would know. What are you saying? Is this, this caused some sort of neurological change? Is, is that why he's so crabby? What are you saying? What aren't you telling me? You're a goddamn medical legend. You wrote the book. How can I tell you what I had to do? For God's sake, half his skull is Tupperware, okay? Tupperware? Oh, Jesus, Mary, God, Joseph. Yes, I'm a brilliant surgeon. But what I was faced with... You should have let him go. You know where the line is, girl. You're too gifted for your own good. Forget medicine. If I hadn't been cum laude at the Manhattan Culinary Institute, He'd be gone. Dad, Francis, is everything okay? What's going on? Oliver! This is Oliver. My ex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. One of them. Anyway. This is one of the Canar Company uh, studios. We've got about 12 of them. Well, we only shoot one show a month here. Oh. Tommy O'Toole. <laughs> Tommy O'Toole set. We shoot you. it three days a month. My favorite show. We watch it Look every Saturday over this. our chocolate milk. The rest of the time I'm up in my office cutting the show and just hanging out here babysitting. <laughs> and then probably next month they're going to use this. They're going to shoot some infomercial, like a psychic reading or some crap like that. We could probably put Casey there, don't you think? Uh, Oliver, are there um, bathrooms out There's that way? There's one bathroom. The okay. green screen can all go here. Are you going to be smoking in here the Come whole time? Come on. Really? Pick that up. Just pick it up. <sighs> put it in your pocket or something, all right? We want some of that. That's oh, our... Don't worry about it. Okay. Start thinking about Raul. Oh, what did you say? Howl? What is it? Howl. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, nervous Heidi. But start really, you know, slick the hair. Get into the place where you're going. Venezuela. Venezuela. Okay? Yeah. Honey, you're always nervous. Getting, Just don't worry you about doing? it. You're going to be an actor with a major star. And a criminal record. But that's good. That doesn't, that doesn't Most of them have criminal records. Can't we just have a good time? <laughs> you know I can take care of you. Yeah, you took care of me. I did. She's she's gonna sleep with him. I mean, I uh, think she's sleeping with him because uh, it's gonna make our our gig happen. I caught you screwing my brother. No, brothers. It's not like I can trust you. I can't trust you now. I couldn't trust. You. I could never trust you. I always loved you, but I can't trust you. Like I can't think about that. That's not, you know, she's a big boy, big girl. <laughs> she's a big boy. And you look so yummy. I I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm convicted. Riley, are you operating on yourself? Improving a little on your handiwork. Please, stop. I worked 24 hours on you. A couple extra would have killed you? Romance is a game for fools, I used to say. 
comes in. You know There's what? Two cameras mounted on that side. There's no turning back. We're here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we should be out there and what? Two Who's she with? There's, There's two people. Man. That's her manager, I think. Oh, shit. Depending on the traffic, hopefully yeah. we'll get lucky this time of day. Where the hell oh, are no. you going? Ben. Go, 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 go. Or whatever the hell that thing is, you wouldn't jolt you know, us too. I mean, everything just happens so fast. This is you remember this your is totally. Game? You remember your favorite game? What are you doing? There'll be time to play illegal alien. Tonight. This is so. You'll be Julio, <sighs> and I'm the big mean boss lady. <laughs> Come on, let's get And this. let this fool rush in. Pretty sure they know exactly who you are. That's why we're here. What do you mean? So, who are you? And what exactly is it that you plan to do with us? Do you want us to take you to the Golden Globes? Shut up. Why don't you shut up? Jesus Christ, Billy. We need the dike manager. Could anything else go wrong? She's not gay, you asshole! Oh, that's okay. You guys are such sharp bait. Hey, bitch! Shut up, your big fat mouth. This isn't your agency. Oh, yes. Good puppy. Vice choice, honey. Didn't you think someone would miss America's $15 million dollar? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's you know, widely publicized that Casey takes two weeks of Casey time after every movie wraps, right? It's exhausting. She goes and deprograms or something. Is that wrong? Listen, psycho boy. You're going to have to make a drugstore run. And soon. I'm just about out of insulin. Listen, you're our guest. You weren't invited, but we're going to take good care of you, OK? You don't seem like such a tough guy or terrorist. Hmm. So tell me, what is it you want? Well, that's really pretty simple. I want your client, Casey Manhattan, to star in my new movie, Venezuela. Like I'm gonna get out of this and act. <laughs> what are you, nuts? What am I saying? Of course you're nuts. Which we're gonna shoot right in this very place over the next 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> you're out of your mind. Damn, I thought you were gonna like kill us. And who says we're not? Yeah, keep quiet. Now shut up, you spoiled brat. You get enough attention. Can I have a cigarette out of my purse, nurse ratchet? <clears throat> I'm Ben, Benedetto. I thought just the, you know, the terror of this situation would be enough for her to just say yes to doing the acting. But I don't think that's happening. Look, we, uh, we got off on the wrong foot. I'm your co-star. And it's nice to finally meet you. It'll be a pleasure working with you. In your dreams, starving actor, loser. Listen, we don't have time for your whining, okay? 
You get your lousy ass up in front of that camera when he wants you to and do that lousy acting that you do. Or your buddy over there is gonna get shit for insulin. You can watch her writhe and wait for her eyeballs to roll back in her head for all I care. So you just scream, hold out. And we'll see just how bad this can get. You suck. You truly suck. She doesn't deserve somebody to take advantage of her like that. Hey, screw you. Who made you so goddamn holy? Love to know who you banged on the way up. America's darling. Okay, there he is. I knew the real personalities would come out. I read stress will do that to you. You guys wouldn't be stressed out, would you? Not half as bad as you'll be. I can see it coming. You gnawing on your chain over there, begging me for a Kit Kat. You know, take the edge off. You ever thought about being an agent? What's your thing? Yeah. What's your thing? me into this. Come on, I'll make it worth your while. Remember, I'm the principal. Hello, teacher. You're the lowly science teacher. But what I really want to know is what a biology teacher only can show me. Busy with the camera, okay? That's a good boy. You owe me big time. You can build that set till the cows come home. I am not acting in that movie. Oh! You asshole. Case, just act. Do whatever they want. Please. Just do the stupid thing. I am not going to act in that movie. For Christ's sake, how important is this to you? Hey, Phoebe. Oh, you don't look so good. Nice spill. Ride much? Okay, okay. I'll do it, you son of a bitch. But I promise you, I won't be good. Trust me, it's true. You didn't kidnap Meryl Streep, guy. I'd like you to make a cell phone call to your agency so that nobody's expecting you. So could you make a call? And then we'll be more than happy to balance you out. Thank you, Phoebe. I have to introduce Carolyn Kennard now. Um, widow of, uh, of media billionaire Jack Kennard. She's a former recording star and uh, now 70-something. Uh, she gets a call from a guy at the company telling her about Casey in one of her studios. This is the end of romance. I'll go my way by myself. Mrs. Kanab. Yes, this is Kyle Sherwin at the Rockefeller Center office. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you on the weekend. Who? <laughs> no. No, absolutely not. I'll go my way by myself. When I was called for the show, I just thought, 
I've never worn a SEMA before. I'm blown away. I actually love this watch. That's what people want to hear. It's not about the sex and glamour. I'll build a world of my own. Time for your snack, little girl. I'm not hungry. Last banana of the day. Are you crazy? I have kind of banana mia. I'm not eating. You have to eat. What are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? If you touch her again, I swear, I will kill you. She controls you. Oh, Raul, thank God you're here. Yeah, just a minute. Raul. Save the sexual innuendo for the reporter, for Barbara Bauer. Don't give it to the German guard. Can you do that? What, what, what's a Nazi doing in Venezuela anyway? Look, it's way, it's, I can't change that now. Work with it. It is what it is. Let's go again from when you take uh, Barbara Bauer out of the cage and head for the hills, okay? And <clears throat> hang on. You guys are doing great. You're doing great. And action. Raul, thank God you're here. I thought she would kill me. That won't happen again. I promise. That won't happen again. Watch your head. No one knows better than I myself. I'm by myself. How you doing, babe? Five-star service all the way. And guess what? I got the insulin for Phoebe. They filled the prescription. Can you believe it? And I got some clothes for you from my closet. I picked out something that's my favorite dress. And then I went to the store and I got some clothes Fiona, for honey, Phoebe, too. If you think that this is going to save your soul, get over it. Did you notice the way he kissed me today in that scene? He slipped me a little tongue. In one word, one gesture, he could be mine completely. Now I suggest that you take me out of this. I'll be gone forever. You go, girl. Can you do this? Either you let me out of here, or I am going to fuck his brains out. Maybe she can act. Get the goddamn thing in her mouth. Get off of me! They're gonna hear her. Would you go? Come on! Help! Get it going! Help! Shut up! Damnation. Take her back. I see God damn it. Attached Billy to this little bitch. So, Billy, things going the way you want it? What the hell were you thinking? Huh? America's bitch! What the hell were you gonna do? I saw you last night. French kissing that little pet pig of yours. What was that all about? You kidnapped a top Hollywood star. Forced her to act in your movie. And I've gotta ask, for what? To get on Hollywood today? To make a sick point about a sleazy business? Honey. Do you think the arts, the gods, owe you something? What are you looking for? Gods. Fame. What is this? Recognition. Religious now. Maybe you're trying to make mommy and daddy proud? Mm. Or are you just bitter? You know, pardon me. Pardon me. 
if I don't take my spiritual guidance from a greedy, ball-busting smokestack. You're so damaged. Did you put your tongue in her mouth? No, I did not put my tongue in her mouth. Honey, stop. I think maybe you're attracted to her. Please stop. Attracted to you. I'm just afraid you're gonna hurt me. I love you so much that I don't think I could take it. small hours of the morning when the whole wide world is fast asleep you lie awake and think about the boy and never even think of counting sheep When the whole wide world has learned its lesson, he'd be yours if only you would come. Come here, boy. In the wee small hours come here. of the morning, come here, boy. that's the time you miss him most. What are you doing? This isn't Silence of the Lambs, Casey. I froze last night. It is cold in here, okay? It's, it's a studio. We're making a movie. The only clothes I have are from the fearful Fiona collection at Walmart. Why don't you just give me a shroud? Breakfast or no? Yeah, at the peninsula with my director, goddammit. How about if I direct you a little bit? Stop with the Casey Star dramatic shit. Listen to yourself. It's not authentic when you do that. I know what I've done must seem really insane. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you trying to win an Oscar for the understatement of the year here? Actually, I think you're going to get the Oscar for overstatement and overacting. You kidnap a major star and her manager and expect her to perform? How sick is that? Let's just rewind a little bit, panicky girl. Screw you. Just screw you. I'm about at the end of my rope. I'm a little edgy lately, Casey Megastar. I would love to make your issues my priority right now. But I can't do that. I want to tell you something, Casey. I have a new mantra. You want to hear it? I don't give a fuck. Are you getting that? Have you noticed? This nice guy doesn't give a fuck. Billy, you're a filmmaker. I'm sure that you care about your career. What do you think this is going to do to your future? There are at least eight female stars who make $15 million a movie. Why did you hijack me? Two reconstructive surgeons, Francis and Riley. Cousins, you could probably tell me the rest of the story better than I can, so I'll jump to the, to the punchline. The idea was to have this live premiere. Ring any bells? Have you ever heard that before? Whatever. So, there I was meeting with John Rock. 
two minutes after I left the office, I guarantee you, there was this metamorphosis, this epiphany. John Larocque had this great idea. Anything else? You know, I was naive. I was an asshole. I just opened myself up. I didn't know any better. Well, not everyone has their story made into a, a $90 million feature. He's done well by me. I applaud him. Wouldn't you think it's the goose you want more than the egg? Shh. Guys, the car is pulling out better. Sure, it's the cops. for dinner last year. Kinky, but glamorous, Casey. <laughs> Caroline! This is Knarr. Thank God it's you. You gotta get us out of here, for God's sakes. My dear, you could have used her decorator. Who's responsible for this? I am. We, we, we No, are. we all are. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. This is my doing. My name's Billy. Billy. I understand. I'm Would you like to have lunch? Lunch? My driver's just outside. Can you leave now? Lunch? You're asking the kidnapper to take him to lunch? What's wrong with you? You can't just leave, Caroline. What the fuck's going on here? Caroline is... Caroline is... strangely sympathetic. But it, the Billy. part where you burst in and take the Viacast control room by force to play the tape. Oh no, that's pretty foolhardy, don't you think? I don't know. Billy, what were you thinking? It seemed completely clear to me at the beginning. It seemed like the right thing to do. Take charge for the first time in your life. It felt really powerful. If I felt powerful for the first time in my life. But now it feels like a lie. You know what, Billy? You're reckless, you're selfish, and you're you're in desperate need of a shrink. What have I done? What have I done? Ego, arrogance, anger. You taking my inventory? Insecurity, inspiration, beauty and talent. No, that's my list from 1955. And I was it in my own little world for a minute. In the wee small hours of the morning. But then I met the Jack. He had only 12 radio stations then. And my whole life changed. I traded her in for Caroline Canar. I packed away my music, and I haven't sung since. What am I doing wrong? Billy, I'm going to tell you something that most people don't know. I had a son. He had great promise. Great promise. Anthony. Anthony was his name, and he was a musician.
I've kept his piano locked since the day he last played it. Miss, you mustn't travel. Do you yeah, know please. who I am? The network, the United States government will take you all down. Miss, please, you must not travel. Your stories make President Ricardo seem like a bad man. What is going on here? Is she not cooperating? Perhaps she needs a shower. He is a bad man. Cut. Margaret, excuse me, just a second. Raoul, just two minutes. What? I'm reading the shitty script that you gave me. Casey. Stop the star shit. But you're not Gloria Swanson. What do you mean? Just, I can help you. I can help make you focus. Are you willing to work with me here? Am I really supposed to take direction from this independent movie wannabe? Hey, just listen to him. It'll go a whole lot easier. <sighs> Thanks, Brando. Appreciate the feedback. Love your work. Hey, hey, 15 million of Chill, <laughs> chill, chill. Are you winding down? Are you ready to do some work? I think I can help you with this, okay? Fine. Okay. The idea is to believe it. And the idea is to be conversational. And the idea is to connect and listen to what the other person's saying. Who's Barbara Bauer? Okay. How long has she been in network anchor? I can't believe him. Who was she in love with? This thing was supposed Where to was be so born? bad, it's funny. What was his name? Look at me. Do men understand her or is she misunderstood? I don't think she really cares about men too much. What about sex? How does that figure in with her? Mm, I think she could take it or leave it. And why is that? Mm, she was hurt. Kind of closed herself off. Does she see herself as beautiful? No, she's a little too tough for that. What's Shit. her biggest fear? Dying. When did that start? When her father died. Has she been abandoned? I think death could be considered abandonment. Okay. You hear the way that you're talking to me? Mm hmm I want you to speak that way. I want you to be real. When you think about her and this guy who came out of nowhere, from a different country, who seemed to be someone who was gonna hurt her, but instead turned out to be someone who loved her. Mm -hmm. When you've done that, Casey Van Hadden, she will really be the artist that I believe is there. Okay? Okay. I believe that. Ben, I've been watching, you've got something. And your whole Spanish thing, it sucks. But your thing, you know this, cute Italian kind of package. I don't know, I just might be able to do something with that. You're playing me. You're fucking with me, aren't you? You don't know, squat. I'm being sincere, you stupid little prick. Yeah, right. What is it? 
Got a gay brother? <laughs> no catch, buddy boy. Listen, all I'm saying is, if we get out of here alive, I'm thinking about maybe sending you on a couple of appointments. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter, huh? How are we gonna do that? I mean, I'll be uh, on death row. Uh, electric chair, whatever they're doing nowadays. Whatever. You know, I could work with that. There's gonna be a flurry of publicity about this. I could do a whole dishy bad boy publicity kind of thing as your intro. You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me, I can tell. Snap out of it, De Niro. Fame isn't about talent. It's about time in front of eyeballs. It's about watchability. I think you're watchable. But then again, maybe anything's watchable being in this shithole 24-7. I get it now. Oh, shut up. Look, it, I know my stuff, and I am damn good at what I do. But let me ask you this. How am I going to help you? Stuck in all this. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I'm not letting you go. Think whatever you want. But mark my words. When you're back slinging hash at the local diner, you'll call. And you'll be down on your knees praying that I take that call. I probably will. And it makes me feel sick. Get over yourself. What? She feels... You want me to wear this later? Yeah. Really tired. From always having to be strong. And she feels really lonely. Sometimes I think... that I'll always be alone. <laughs> I'll be dead. Because I just can't ever let anybody get close. Cut. That was very good. Gotta be the cops. Come out of here. Where are you going? Why do I always have to be the guy? Oh, hello, Casey. Caroline. They've let you off your leash. Are you having potty break? Something like that. <laughs> I have a couple of things I want to discuss with the agent lady over here. Good morning. My name's Phoebe Bendham. Well, Phoebe, this isn't the 40s and you aren't Betty. And you want Tallulah. Friends of yours? <laughs> what I really want to talk about regarding these, I was a little surprised by some of the things I found. Now maybe I don't understand it, or maybe I'm counting wrong, but I do think there are certain things in here that um, Ms. Van Hadden, for instance, would have a few problems with. Let's understand something. These are mine. Whatever you're worth, add three zeros to that, and that would be me. Things move very rapidly when you're me. Your trouble, Ms. Bendham, is that you're a ball buster. I don't bust them. I own them all. <laughs> Here she comes now. You want to let this one out? Don't worry, I put on the invisible fence. Hey, Case, how's it going? You know, I got to tell you, you've never put out work like this. So you're a convert now? No, oh, Case, that's not it. My career is about you and your work. That's all I care about. And I've never, ever, Seen you put out work like this. <laughs> That's entertainment. A fun romance.
with no kisses a fine romance my friend this is we should be like a couple so Casey is sleeping with Billy's pug George on the floor is Billy's masterpiece script uh, indifference she appears to have read it how the hell am I gonna show that So it's Billy's memory, his nightmare. Uh, he's wheeling through the hospital hallway on a gurney, medicinal charcoal all over his face. <laughs> Heidi is running alongside the gurney front. <laughs> Hey, Sunshine. Time for a little personal hygiene. Yeah, being that it's been about 17 hours, I almost <sighs> pissed myself. What? What? No, no, no. Casey's been away. You know, you know her. She does the, uh, her Hindu uh, bullshit thing, you know, after she gets done shooting a movie. Really? What is it? Benham staff hasn't said anything? They haven't seen either of them? They're afraid of what? Let's go, Superstar. Don't use up all the hot water. So let me guess. You have, like, a personal trainer, or... What is it you do to stay in shape? Or are you just born like that? Let's go. whatever I want, and I never work out. I just want to spend. Who's going to play the I'll scene? tell you what we're going to do. We're what? either going to shoot, shoot a montage, you're going to get a body, listen to me, you're going to get a body double. A body what? double, what? yeah, what are you doing? I'm a little guy with a blonde wig. I don't give a shit, but we have to get this thing done, okay? We're going to shoot this movie. We're I've Casey Van Hadden on a chain. Come on, Bill. It's okay. Oh, God, man. I'm just, I can't hold it together. It's okay. I don't have control of myself. It's I'm coming okay. unglued again. It's okay. Ben, it's like I'm waking up out of a blackout. We're gonna be here. We haven't finished the movie. We're gonna finish I don't know the movie. If, ben, I don't know if I can finish this up. You can. I don't know you have if to. I can take this thing through to the Viacast. You're break going in and to have to, do you hear me? You have to, you don't have a choice, man. It's becoming more fictional to me every day. I'm coming unglued. Come it's happening again. Come on, man. It's happening again. I don't know what to do, man. Hey guys. Man, it's like stepping out of a Vegas casino or something. I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't know what it is about Heidi and making love to her is like, it's not making love, it's like beating her up. It's like, it's like I want to be mean to her. I want to, tr I want some kind of power over her because she has so much power over me. It's like, 
the animal in me takes Oliver. over and she's... Oliver, it's okay. I feel terrible, I feel guilty about it because it's, it's not how I want to you know, be with a woman, but it's not anything and I can't control it. It's like, the truth is, it's like... Oh, stop. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Thank you for honesty. Come here. It starts now, okay? Venezuela, Act 3. But you guys are already lovers. Oh. You haven't done it, but you're already like... Well, no, no, his colleagues are around, mm -hmm. watching. Such a relief to be out of there. Uh, it's a beautiful day, huh? Eh? Today I uh, make some contact with someone who is coming to rescue you. What? Rescue you. And now you're happy, huh? Eh? Okay. So you're turning about toward the camera. What are you thinking about? I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get out of here. Don't act so happy, eh? It's, it's killing me. What do you mean it's killing you? You <laughs> You really made me crazy. You are so special for me, kid. <laughs> Let's walk. Can't you come with me? Can't do it. I have to stay here. Why? This is my country. I can't leave. Just keep walking. One day after the next day in your hut, Eat your bananas, and I go crazy. <laughs> oh my God! There's news chopper twelve. Now I think it is time that we run. Excellent. Listen, Oliver will cut in the juicy shot of, um, of Margaret getting splattered by the helicopter, okay? And that's a wrap. That was, hey, that was great. I still can't figure out why there's a Nazi in this movie. The hell else is she gonna play? So free as a bird. I guess you've earned our trust. You know, Billy, I just wish you would have tried indifference while you had her. Indifference? What do you mean? I read it. Case asked me to the other Come night. Come on. You read my script? You're kidding me. Billy, it's good. It's more than good. I think you wasted your time shooting this campy bullshit. I guess that as I say, things happen for a reason. You know, after all of this, I really honestly hope you don't end up being a guest to the state. Thanks, Phoebe. Oh, crap. Cops, go get your stuff.
I've been a roaming Juliet. My Romeos have been many. But Get now centered. My roaming day do some meditation. Do whatever it is that you do when you're off wherever you are. Many this is, in the well, it's just, this is really serious shit. There's something about it that's really exciting. Don't you think? I'm a nervous wreck, frankly. Ohm. How about that? We'll ohm together. Will that do it for you? It'll do it for me. No drama queen. It's not gonna do it. Everything I've got on you. Hi, Billy. Tisha McGowan. I'm here to get your side of the story. Will you talk to me live? Go for it, Billy. Lord help me if my baby don't come through. Shit. I have a problem. This is Tisha McGowan reporting from Precinct 12 with Billy Bottomsby, Star Jacker. Ladies. John, I'd like you to meet my friend, Carolyn. Billy, I don't think I need to qualify myself to you. And yet you're asking me for every intimate detail of my twisted mind. Well, isn't this what you were looking for? Some attention, Billy. What if I told you that I wasn't going to show up? Now I'm being threatened by the star. You need to fix this. I need to, uh, to fix uh, uh, a gnat. Plagiarism you know? coming out of my mouth. You look great. You look better than TV. You really do. Billy, why did you do it? It's one of America's most beloved actresses. What were you thinking? Look, Casey, there's no way that little turd. You took it. Is it all right? That Biden's boy is on channel two. Turn on the television. Billy, I'm not sure I understand your complaint. Listen, I like this story. I might have gone to Hollywood High with you, Tish. I'm not sure if anyone you know, understands Tish, your complaint. I really think nowadays you have to have celebrity endorsement. My choice was to kidnap a movie star. Find what's right for you. You'll have Tisha McGowan over for lunch. Isn't that funny? He does sound a little crazy. Yeah, for a minute. Right? Whatever. He's speaking his truth. Do you think this is a little bit extreme, Billy? Would you just been happier with the movie deal? Sure. That's a Absolutely. This guy is a real poo poo. It's not my place to say you're pathetic. God knows I wouldn't be wearing these. <laughs> Would I? Tish? Billy, I've never lost control of an interview before, and it's not going to happen today. I love this story. It's the frustrated little guy, a nobody, and he's ripped off by the big producer. Is there something wrong? Jesus. Enough. Am I nuts? I don't know. Maybe I am. Crazy is what they lump together everything that isn't in their rule book. He's right. That's exactly what I said last week. Are you crazy? He's a loose hinge. He's a nut job. No way he'd kidnap a black actress. I think I found the door for you yesterday. Once again, the opportunity goes to the blonde bitch. I'm not alone. Am I? This guy's not crazy. It's just another one they drove over the edge. Hey, Ted, see if Jude Law's available. No, no, better yet. Get it to Orton. Get it Orton. I have my problems. I have my issues. There's no question. And, and the blonde, what's her name? You know, the one that looks like Casey but can act? Yes. Yeah. Poppy Kelwood. Reminds me of Network, only younger. Have you been that before? I think some of your viewers understand what I'm talking about. I do. Tell us I think they, they, they go through that all, all day long. No, no, no. Nothing. Tish, I'm not talking to you right now. You want your exclusive? Shut the f Hey, watch your fucking mouth. Don't believe it for a minute. Don't believe them for a second. It's crap. No, no. Get Bogdanovich to do it. He's perfect. Don't believe and, and I, I want to twist them because they don't care what you think. They care that you're there and not with them. <laughs> There's a lot of therapy ahead, but Johnny, you definitely have a problem. I think you're one of them. <laughs> Tish, in this detail in this interview, my name is Bottoms, not Bottoms B. Fuck. I think we missed that one.
So Oliver and Fiona have to carry the torch. The submissive duo has to break in, take the control room by force, preempt Attention Deficit's live premiere, play Venezuela instead. Baby, yeah. So, oh yeah, I saw her too, yeah. Very, very nice. Very special. Very big, yes. Huge tracks of land, yes, okay. <laughs> okay gotta go. Okay, we're secure down here. You're all secure, yes, okay. How can I help you? Yeah, we're here for the, um... We're here for the... Honey, too so much coffee. Your names are? Mm, Julia. Mm, Julia, okay, Julia. And your name, sir? Bob. Bob, Bob. That's with a B? Bob. Two B's. Okay, two B's, okay, Bob. Uh, you don't appear to be on my list. Uh, let me get Cal on the line here. Cal, Cal, 11th floor, HQ, please. Hello, hello. Got a 287 down here. As usual, they're ignoring me up there. I get no respect down here. Let me tell you something about security. Without security, it all goes to crap. I'm gonna put my initials right here. You look like honest folks. Alrighty then. Keep this on your person. You have a good day now. Stay within the white lines. Okay. okay. Take care now. Yeah, Phil. Oh, yeah, I'm back, baby. Yeah, that one with the Hooters. Yeah, she was hot. Speaking of which, are we going to Hooters for lunch tonight? Can you ask me for my name? I was just so excited. I'm so excited. I never felt this way before. What are you talking about? We're like going to jail. No, like, don't you? Aren't you excited? I think. Make sure it's on. Just outside, we'll be shooting the live final scene. Okay, everybody out of here. Now, we're on the floor this joint. We're preempting the show with one of our own. Thank you. 
Look at us, pay per view. Let them fuck with my head. This is always a great place. Don't be like Mrs. Fucking Roger Ebert now. Peter, Peter Bogdanovich. Go ahead, take it. Um, Peter, what were your biggest challenges? Apart from my low maintenance stars, uh, well, the big challenge was to make it look so low budget. It's, a big it's, a, it's not a large part, but it's a—it's kind of a crucial part. It's, a, it's kind of—I see the movie as a triangle. There's okay, okay. Academy, Academy Award-nominated actor Robert Vaughn. Hey, how you doing? I have a light right up there. I'm not a model. I'm an actress. I need to eat. panic. I knew it was going to exploit artists like us. What do you mean? The pathetic, struggling, independent filmmaker. I wish I had to work so hard to make something look so low budget. You know, it's like if you say it first, you can't be accused of it. Oh, don't be so mental. I thought it was pretty cool. And the two girls have basically uh, become, you know, Billy and Ben have taken their place. And Billy and Ben have evolved into, you know, the very thing they felt victimized by. Did, did, did that answer your question? Hi, I'm Justin, first year playwright. All right, so as a writer, you or Billy? Well, 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 I'm not sure that question, you know, needs to be answered. Why did you feel the need for the second twist? Well, you see, the whole, the whole point was the, the, the second twist. It was really taping everything, right? Uh, was this some sort of commentary on the reality TV craze? So if the Italian guy was directing attention deficit... So what was Bogdanovich really directing? Well, is this a story about control? Abuse. So your point is what? Or art or the what? entertainment industry can twist us Do you think us educators will appreciate Tommy O'Toole? You no, know, adults are are pretty you know, so savvy these are days. are you laughing at Hollywood or the well, film industry? Was this them? sort of like uh, uh, Hollywood uh, swallowing up in movie, independent the film? Says, if you say it first, you can't be accused of it. Is that your story? No, no, I'm asking. Here? No. Are you saying we're no. like guinea pigs manipulated with no choices? How, how can you feel manipulated? I, I mean, I showed you the writer all along. You knew it was being written. Do you written. think the films that it's you fiction. make aren't manipulative or biased? Well, well, you, you, yeah, well it, it's impossible to please Are everybody. Are you saying that and, to the film industry nothing is sacred? Were you actually plagiarized? Do it? you know yes. what the truth is? Us, them thing. To us, you're one of them. Can you see that? I like it. Ignore these assholes. They don't know shit. No, you know what? A lot of them are right. I, I mean, it was good, whatever, good feedback. Can I tell you my idea for a movie? It's, I'm calling it malpractice, right? And it's these two doctors, well, actually they're cosmetic surgeons. One's this totally hot chick, right? Po totally Poppy Calwoodish type. What matters is that they're cousins and they're lovers, okay? Can you spell incest and box office? We'll get back to the story. What I want to tell you about is the incredible idea I had for the premiere. It's fucking brilliant. I'm talking about a live final scene. Holy shit, right? Yeah, they're good. I, I think I could probably help you. Do you have any other ideas? The water is warm. I cannot cross over. Shall run.